Hello and welcome to my channel, in this video I will be showing you how to replace Range Rover L322 front air spring. The first step is to remove the top bolt using 24mm. You can use air tool and lubricant to ease the process. After you remove the bolt, there is also going to be a washer and bush. You don't need to worry about those as it will be replaced and I will show it in the video. With the upper bolt removed, flip the strut over and locate the alignment pin on the bottom of the air spring assembly and safely remove it using any tool of your choice as you will also be replacing the pin. I used a cutter plier. Now using a hammer or a rubber mallet, tap the bottom of the air spring to disengage the o-ring seals between the spring and strut. There are five in total. You don't need to worry about damaging the air strut as it will be replaced. Air spring as well as all O-rings and O-ring spaces are discarded. The only thing you will reuse is the shock itself. Clean the shock of any rust and debris before beginning installation of the air spring. In my case a lot of rust were on the shock so I have used a wire brush and a 240 grit sandpaper to remove the rust. Now it's time to install the new O-rings and O-ring spaces. There are two types of O-ring. One is firm, and the other ring is flexible. The order is firm ring at the bottom, flexible ring next. Keep doing this step until the firm ring is at the top and there is no more O-ring to install. You can use a lubricant to ease the installation process. Install the plastic washer to the air spring. Install the provided bump stop over the strut shaft in the depicted orientation. Slide the washer over the threaded end of the shock. Ensure the perimeter lip is facing downward away from the threads. Slide the new air spring assembly over the shock. Make sure to align the plastic alignment pin on the air spring through the hole in the shock's piston seat. After you have pushed the lower piston's alignment pin through the shock spring plate, slide the external locking clip over the plastic pin to secure the air spring to the shock. Push the upper black rubber mount over the shock shaft. Make sure to place the rubber seal in the correct orientation as depicted. Push the air strut so you can see the air spring nut to install the rubber mount. Now push the mount so it sits on the air strut. Slide the washer over the treaded end of the shock. Ensure the lip of the washer is facing upward and towards the nut. Hand tight the nut. This step is very vital as you will now be conjoining the strut to the spring. Insert the 8mm hex socket to the spring and 22mm spanner to the bolt and start to tighten the spring bolt whilst holding the spanner. Bear in mind that the spring bolt is tightened by turning the ratchet anti-clockwise direction. You need to tighten the bolt to 56nm torque. Next is to install the air valve and tighten it using 10mm spanner. I wouldn't advise you to use old valve as air might escape. Now using air compressor and tire valve, you need to inflate the air spring so the alignment pin and air strut will sit flush with the air spring. This step is vital as the o-rings we installed earlier will attach to the air strut and cause an airtight lock between the air strut and air spring. This will also enable the alignment pin to fit flush with the bottom of the air spring. The final step is to fit the alignment pin to the air strut to the locating post. I used a long 10mm socket to lock the pin in place. Using a hammer, 
I hit the end of the 10mm to lock the locking pin. You have successfully replaced your vehicle's air suspension. Thank you for watching. If you did like the video, please make sure to comment, like and subscribe.